don't think there's ever been a film this year quite like this where I've genuinely been scratching my head trying to figure out whether there are actually some faults with this film. And for ages I've been trying to figure out if there is anything and I honestly can't. And for me, this film is Greta Gerwig's new film, Lady Bird. While there have been a lot of films this year that I've highly praised, I was still able to find things that I could nitpick out of them and find some flaws in them. And Lady Bird to me just isn't a film that I can find genuine flaws in. Where I think a lot of coming of age films try to go for the more cliche approach of having a very dramatic way of telling their story, which usually ends up in being a bit of a tearjerker, which don't get me wrong, I am a sucker for for those types of films. The film Wonder, which released just recently, follows that model somewhat closely, and they made it work wonderfully. But what first time director and writer Greta Gertwig has done is create something that feels so incredibly real and natural that you feel like this is a story that could have happened to your family. The film follows high school student Ceres Ronan as Christine McPherson, who only goes by the name of Lady Bird. When we meet her, she is fairly self-centered, which, let's face it, teenage girls at that age typically can be. Her family are working class, her parents are struggling to keep work and run the household, while Lady Bird goes from one crazy scheme to the next, much to the dismay of her family. And what the film really does exceptionally well is focus and center on the relationship between Lady Bird and her mother Marion, played by Laurie Metcalf, which unfortunately isn't the type of relationship that we see very often, which is definitely unfortunate, as I think this film has definitely been made for mothers and daughters in mind, and I think it's going to really resonate with them and connect with them as they're going to find a lot that they can relate to in this film. As again, everything is portrayed in an incredibly realistic way. Say, for me, this film really gave off a Richard Linklater vibe, where realism and characters come first and the story supports everything else. And for me, I honestly think Greta Gertwig has made a better Richard Linklater film than even he has. And that's not a detriment to either filmmaker because these are both wonderfully talented people. The strength of the film absolutely comes down to the writing and performances. Where you feel like you're just hanging out at school again or getting in stupid arguments with your parents or your friends at school. It feels like real life. What it really nails is the minutiae of everyday life that people don't think too hard about or take for granted. Although the film actually does highlight some of the sacrifices you make in life where you're trying to figure out where you want to go, what you have to give up to get to where you want to go, and asking where we think we're going to go and how we're going to get there. And, you know, is there still a way to get to where you want to go in life? All these questions sort of get put together and bundled up here and it's handled exceptionally well. The film is just wonderfully reflective and and honest about its approach to life and I think that's really what's going to draw people in and make them relate to the film without getting too sappy or drawing too many emotions to people and being way too over dramatic for its own good because that's another thing this film has an infectious positivity to it even in the more dramatic moments there's usually some hope a glimmer of hope that you find where you know there's a way that you're gonna get through it you're gonna find a way to get past these tough times and that's what really draws you to the film is that there is a sense of you're going to get there there's a way you're going to get there even as tricky and hard as it seems it is right now and that's just wonderful especially you know for everyone who goes through that on a day-to-day -day basis i know i felt this i know you felt this where there are days that you just hope that things are just going to get better and eventually and hopefully that they do Director Greta Gerwig comes from an acting background which absolutely shows as the performances here are pretty much flawless. I think there's going to be some serious awards consideration for Cyrus Ronan and probably for best original screenplay here too. There is just a lot to love and get lost in here. If I absolutely have to nitpick, I think maybe the latter half of the film comes together quite quickly and might catch people a bit off guard and may come together a bit too abruptly I think and there are some story threads that don't all tie together all too well but ultimately the film is about Ladybug coming to terms with who she is and finding herself in her own life and really trying to discover what her family means to her and I think people are genuinely going to come out of this film feeling flawed and just downright emotional about the whole experience but in a really positive and moving way that isn't going to make them feel depressed or anxious, it's just going to give them hope that hey, even in your darkest times there are ways to move forward and find a positive outlook on some of these situations. Again, it was really difficult for me to try and find faults in this film and honestly this film does everything right by most film standards. So for me, honestly, Lady Bird gets a 10 out of 10 for me, like guys, go check this film out, it's incredible, it's beautifully moving and it's 
just such an honest and realistic outlook on life that I think a lot of people are going to really appreciate, especially if you're a mother and daughter. Mother and daughters, I think, are going to be running out to this. Um, otherwise, go for it, guys. This film is definitely made for you. With a 10 out of 10, this obviously earns Ladybug a Mono's Choice Award. Guys, go out and appreciate Ladybird. It deserves your attention. Guys, I hope you liked this review. If you did like this review, do remember to hit the thumbs up button, give it a like, and leave a comment down below in the comment section. Have you seen Ladybird or were you planning to see Ladybird? Do let me know in the comment section below. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, do hit the subscribe button with a little bell next to it, which will remind you when the Mono Report uploads new content. And don't forget, you can follow the Mono Report on Facebook and Twitter at the Mono Report. Thank you very much, everybody. Stay right here for your Mono Fix. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.